music is not only important to me, it's essential for me. I am born in Armenia, in Yerevan, in the capital of Armenia. And into music I have been introduced in a very early age. I think already in the stomach of my mother because they both are musicians. My mother and father are both violinists. My brother, big older brother, is as well violinist. So music was kind of always the most natural thing in the house. My father is a folk violinist and he's, I mean, basically a fiddler playing everything from any folk melodies into classical and uh, jazz in all directions. In Soviet times, which I was born into, he always had some recordings, some forbidden recordings of, of uh, folk music coming from Romania, from Hungary, from uh, this, I mean, Eastern Europe. And we listened to this unbelievably enjoyable music, which was forbidden outside, but not forbidden inside. <laughs> so we had, uh, the, this really formed a lot my thinking, my musical thinking. People might get very easily tired half an hour later. They might be very tired when they hear only very fast notes. <laughs> it's, it's the emotional part which people are looking for. I would probably feel myself a little bit claustrophobic if I would just limit myself to some particular direction. Um, that's why the variety simply makes me happy. I never, never plan something to do. Some kind of phrasing, maybe some places where I think the musical thought is going to be in this direction. But there is never a plan how to express the musical thought because it can come in uh, very different ways. And then suddenly you get a beautiful impulse from the orchestra, from some particular player of, of the orchestra, and then you answer. If they are coming out of the hall and I see red eyes and I see moved people and I also see people running away, which happens to me also when I am in a concert which has moved myself, then, then I usually can't talk. Then I'm happy, then I know that I have reached some people and that's for me is a signature, is a very important thing. 